Lake Tahoe is clearly one of the most spectacular places in the world. Millions of people come here every year to recreate, to dive into these clear blue waters. And with the onset of aquatic invasive weeds growing up along the shorelines, it's really impacting Lake Clarity, which has an impact on our native species and our water quality, but it also has a big impact on how people are able to recreate. Behind me is a UV light test. It's a pilot test to see if we can take UV light, an older technology, and use it in an innovative way in Lake Tahoe to help remove aquatic invasive weeds. The Tahoe RCD plays a major role in implementing aquatic invasive species control projects here in Lake Tahoe. We've been working on the control of aquatic plants uh, for about 10 years, but more harshly for the last about four or five years and we've been using methods such as bottom barriers and diver-assisted suction removal to combat invasive plants. What we're hoping to accomplish here is testing this technology that's been around for decades um, as a new method and an innovative way to treat aquatic plants here in Lake Tahoe. Uh, my name is John Peluccio. I'm president of Inventive Resources Incorporated in Salida, California. I graduated with a degree in mechanical engineering from University of Pacific. While I was in college, I worked in caves, and the cave owner said, hey, you know, I have algae growing on my walls. Uh, can you figure a way to clean the, that algae off the cave walls? But you can't use chemicals, and you can't touch the rocks. So I built a backpack, I repelled down, and we started actually treating the cave walls UV, using UVC light. And uh, 10 years later, I'm here in Lake Tahoe, and I hear about the weed problem in the lake, and I thought, hey, wonder if that would work and uh, one thing led to another and now I have a, a pilot project. The project and implementation has been happening since this June and we will be treating all summer for 2017 and 2018 will be follow-up monitoring. Um, our expected outcomes and hopes are that all of this technology proves that it is an effective method to treat aquatic invasive plants and it can be just another tool in our toolbox to combat weeds.